Here at the 2011 ONS Conference in Boston, Massachusetts, we are happy to have with us Ray Garcia. He is an RN at the uh, UNC Chapel Hill Hospital in North Carolina. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about your uh, poster, uh, Evaluation of BCR-ABL Monitoring in Chronic Myeloid Leukemia in Clinical Practice. Um, what is CML and BCR ABL testing. Did we get enough letters in there? <laughs> it's always like a soup, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so what is this? CML is chronic myeloid leukemia. It is essentially a cancer where in two chromosomes, chromosome 9 and 22, translocated, and the result of this is a BCR able protein that is causing the cancer. So for the first time, we have a target in cancer therapy. There is the cause of the cancer. So what has happened is drug company has developed a pill that will specifically target the bad cells and spare the good cells. BCR able testing is the way we monitor the disease. It is done through bone marrow and now more conveniently through blood testing. National recommendation is we check it before you start the therapy and every three months for the first year and every three months, if you continue to have this certain response, once you have complete cytogenetic response, then you can back it down to every six months. What are the results of this retrospective study? So uh, this study pretty much pulls data, about 700 patients, uh, data were pulled from their commercial uh, provider insurance and it's a community-based practice. So what they've done is they pulled on how effectively the testing was being, or the disease was being monitored through the BCR ABLE. And significantly what we found is only 17% of the patients were being followed closely through this testing. And then due, um, meaning only 17% were followed through the national recommendation of testing it on baseline in every three months. In time though, so it was done during the first 12 months, over time it has improved, meaning 40% of the patient are being followed closely. However, it's still a very disappointing number when we have this comprehensive guideline called NCCN that pretty much tells us on how to properly monitor these patients. Ray, what are the implications and recommendations for oncology nurses? So the, mostly the implications for oncology nurses is where our, could be the patient advocate. We could prompt our doctor to say like, it's the third month now after we started the therapy. I think it's time to do this BCR able testing. When the patient comes back in three months, because usually the patients are even come back, asked to come back every month or every three months, then we can prompt our physician or healthcare provider to go ahead and test this BCR able. More importantly is we can engage the patient because when these results came back, we could tell them that this is the way we monitor their disease and if they're having good response, we could show it to them. Consequently also, we could tell because this is a very sensitive testing that a slight increase could prompt us to say that either there could be some drug interaction or some non-adherence on the patient's part as to taking their pills. So this motivate them to say, hey, you know, uh, I'm taking my pills, then I should have, I should see some good responses. Ray, exciting work. Thanks for coming by and telling us about it. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Best of luck to you. Ray Garcia from UNC Chapel Hill in North Carolina.